Get up to the river. And why don't we all, everybody ready? Let's all count for them. One, two, three. If I can have your attention, please, for a moment. I'll, I'll get as close as I can to the microphone. Um, good afternoon. I'm Ronnie Johnston, and I'm the executive director of Easter Seals West Alabama. And I think the most important thing we could do today is have an invocation. So we've asked uh, Betty Cleveland, uh, who is a 28-year veteran at Easter Seals, to deliver our invocation today. Betty. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to be asked to give the invocation for the great day of ribbon cutting and dedication of this great building. As we gather today in the presence of God and these witnesses to cut the ribbon and dedicate this building to the glory of God and the praise of Jesus Christ and to all who know who now or ever will work here or visit this place of business to the grace, love, mercy, and protection of God. We bear witness of the values we cherish, including the relentless pursuit of excellence, an unwavering commitment to integrity, and unbending attention to detail, so that all we do will bring honor to God. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Dear God Almighty, today we gather in your name to offer our thanks for your blessing for this building. Dear Lord, our Father, lavish your blessings upon the business under this roof as it seeks to bring you glory in all its ways. We ask you to expand all of the business in this new location as a towering example of quality, service, and integrity throughout West Alabama. We ask for your favor to rest upon all whom now or will enter this building. May all who enter these premises sense your presence, power, and love. Grant this place of business your wisdom, truth, favor, peace, success, and prosperity as they seek to honor God. Lord, you said in your word that you will open the heavens, the storehouse of your bounty, to send rain on our land in season, and to bless all the work of our hands. We thank you. We praise you, God, the Father of Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Lord, as you said in your word, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord, not the men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. Thus, O oh Lord, this building is dedicated with our participation on this, the fourth day of May 2017. And Father God, as we depart this place, bless and keep us. Father God, make your face shine upon all of us and be gracious to all of us. And also, Lord, we ask you lift up your countenance upon us and give us all peace. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And the whole body said, Amen. Thank you, Betty. I work with some great people, don't I? <laughs> Betty gives the sweetest prayers. In, um, in November of 2015, in November of 2015, we put a shovel in the dirt here. And then in January of 2016, we decided we need to dedicate the property, and we did it on that hill right over there. And look, we missed the rain. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
That, that day was freezing. It was snowing. It was freezing. And 125 people showed up on that hill up there to help us dedicate this. And that was the shortest speech I ever heard Hardy McCollum give in my life. And, and me too, actually. So I knew we were okay at that moment when all those people showed up and that we were going to be all right. Um, <clears throat> but I do thank you for coming today to help us celebrate uh, with Easter Seals in the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services as we begin a new chapter in our commitment to service to the people of West Alabama. And at the risk of leaving someone out, I was warned by Pam Parker not to start thanking people because uh, you leave a lot of people out. And there are literally hundreds of people I could thank. So um, on our slideshow, our donors uh, that will have plaques in the building are there. The Amoson, I think, and Ellis Architects that did this beautiful building for us, we recognize. But we're still working on the building. Signage will be going up. Some of those things are yet to come. But I will say this, and not trying to thank everyone, that every person, every agency, every entity, every signature, every, literally everything we needed appeared in our path at the exact moment in time when we needed it. It, it was the most amazing thing, <clears throat> excuse me, because we stepped out on faith to build this building. We sure did. So that tells me there is a higher power at work, and there is a greater uh, energy than any one of us alone that is uh, guarding us and working with us as both of our agencies work to uh, complete our mission and our purpose. And I do think a, knowing your purpose is important um, more than your mission. You need to know, we need to know why we're here. And um, I never knew why I was here 40 years ago. I just had my 40th anniversary this week. Um, I can't believe it. And who knew 40 years later, I'd be standing here opening a, a new building. Um, but God has plans that we don't often know, right? So what you'll see today in this building is an example of a public-private partnership. We hear it spoken about all the time. Public and private should work together. Well, Easter Seals and the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services has been working together for over 50 years right here in Tuscaloosa, providing services to people with differing abilities and other special needs. And not only in Tuscaloosa, but we've been doing that statewide. So we've been longtime partners, collaborators, family. We really are family here. And that is the most important thing to me. And now we're all in one location. It's the first time in Tuscaloosa that all the divisions of the Department of Rehab Services have been in one building. So we're learning each other, we're learning our names and, and what we do, and that is a, such an important thing as we work together. So there are things yet we're still doing in the building. Um, Gray Garrett, our construction manager, just stopped me a minute ago and said we need to talk about the things we have to complete. There's still signs to go up and lights go off in the offices sometimes when you don't move around and little, little things like that and somebody was in the bathroom a minute ago in the ladies room putting in the plumbing so we're still working on the building but one thing that is complete and, uh, and is ongoing is our commitment to providing quality service and improving the lives of our neighbors throughout West Alabama so I'll close with this um, my favorite quote is from Helen Keller and Helen Keller was asked um, what price she would pay to regain her sight. She didn't hesitate. She answered immediately, I would rather walk with a friend in the dark than alone in the light. So um, thank you for being our friends and thank you for being here today. So now I'd ask uh, our friend, the commissioner of the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services, Jane Elizabeth Birdshaw, to come and say a few words. Let me lower this mic. I'm a little short. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. What a, a wonderful partnership we have had with Easter Seal Alabama for so many years. Um, and Ronnie, it, you know, we can thank people all day long, but without you, this wouldn't be happening. So thank you, Ronnie. Um, and there's 
there's so many things that, that are wonderful that it doesn't matter what's left to do, so stop apologizing. <laughs> um, to the Easter Seal Alabama family, to the Tuscaloosa Easter Seal family, to the board of Easter Seal here in Tuscaloosa, thank you so much for partnering with us. Um, being able to be together as a family means more than you will ever know. Uh, being able to provide disability support services under one roof means more than you will ever know. And to do it in a first class building such as this, for us to say to the community of West Alabama, people with disabilities matter this much is important. Um, thank you to the consumers who are here. <coughs> I always cry when I get in front of people. I apologize. <laughs> I'm very passionate about what we do. Um, thank you for being here to cut the ribbon because you're what this is about. It's not about me. It's not about Ronnie. It's not about Easter Seal. It's not about the Department of Rehabilitation. It's about you. So thank you for being here and being a part of it. Spread the word. We want other friends and family who don't know about service provision here in West Alabama to find out about us, find out about what we do and how we can help support them. So thank you to all of you who are here. I do want to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, Lynn Stokely, wherever you are in the room, thank you from Easter Seal, Alabama. We appreciate you not only here in West Alabama, but across the state. Um, Kerry Boswell, who I do not think is here, uh, he is my predecessor as Commissioner of the Department of Rehabilitation, and he began this vision with Ronnie and Easter Seal, and so I want to thank Kerry for his work. To the local leadership in the Department of Rehabilitation, uh, in particular Barbara Hankins and Deborah Bolton, wherever you are in the room, thank you for your leadership. Um, to our division directors for early intervention, children's rehabilitation, vocational rehabilitation, vocational rehabilitation, deaf blind services, and for independent living, that would be Melinda Davis, James Myrick, Curtis Glisson, Betsy Prince, and Lisa Alford. Thank you for your dedication and for making sure that uh, your staff understood how important this project was and how important it was for you to take your time and make this happen. There's a, there's a gray-head guy right back there with a pink tie on. His name is Mark Vosel. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, for all the, and for all the Easter Seal folks, uh, Mark has been our Ronnie on this project. Uh, Mark and Ronnie have probably gotten to know each other better than they wanted to. <laughs> uh, but Mark, thank you to you and to Mike Ellis, the architect of the building. I, I, I have to say this is my first time in the building as it's just completed. I'm astounded. <laughs> uh, it's, it's unreal. Uh, I'll be honest with you. We have wonderful offices across the state, but this is beyond imagination. So thank you to you. Um, and, and last but not least, our computer services staff who make all of our computers work and all of our business keep happening. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I just want to say, I don't have a quote, but I'll just tell you from my heart, Community inclusion works. And the more we can let our folks with disabilities know how valuable they are to us and that they deserve everything that anyone else deserves and that we will give them our best every day makes all the difference. So for everyone who's on my staff and Ronnie's staff, thank you for your 100%. Please keep giving your 100%.
and will make a difference in West Alabama. Thank you. I love my job. We just have a great place to work. So that's all the speechifying we're going to do today. We want you to enjoy the building, meet our staff, learn about our services. Please sign the guest book in the main lobby. And then as you leave today, we have a small memento, a little white notebook. I don't know who's... They're downstairs on the main lobby, so please grab one of those to take with you. And thank you for coming. Just enjoy yourself and visit. Thank you. Thank you.